Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Montana 3921 FB. This is one of the best coaches out there for relaxation, bath and a half with a gorgeous front bath. But let's start right down here in the main living area because you'll be spending a lot of time down here when you're out in the uh, Montana. So you'll see right here two big opposing slides really help open this space up and allow for this beautiful center island right here. Right over here in our door side slide, you have the booth style table, um, or I'm sorry, buffet style table rather. And I like that they did this. This is kind of come, coming from a motorhome side of things. A lot of motorhomes do this. Uh, and they, it's definitely a big addition to the Montana. I like that they do it because it tucks away when you're not using it. When you do want to use it, it's easy to pull out. It has a leaf in there as well, so you can easily sit four people here. And it also comes with two foldable chairs. Also, you'll notice a power tower right over here. So if you need to plug anything in, you have that power tower there. Another electrical outlet down below. So plenty of plugins there. Uh, slow rise roller shades all throughout the Montana here. Those are great. They work very well. Uh, you have both the day and night shades on here. And again, another thing they've taken from the motorhome side of things now coming into the fifth wheel industry. Then right here, this of course is the best seat in the house. This is your dual reclining theater seating straight across from your entertainment center. The reason I really like this though is if you take a look right here in the cup holder, not only is it lit, but it also is power. So you can just touch a button to raise and lower uh, the legs right there. And, I, and you know, as you get a little bit older, you're camping, I don't know if you've used some of the theater seats before, but sometimes they're hard to pull, they're hard to open. And same thing when you try to use your legs to shut it, it's really tough. So having that power option is a huge benefit, uh, especially again, if it's a little bit harder to open and close those. If you take a look right up top, You'll see some good extra storage. They went with the uh, nice raised panel cabinetry on the end, the frosted glass here in the center. Notice that there's not a style here either. So if you do have some bigger items, big board games or whatever, you're able to fit those right in there. LED lights throughout, which is of course something you would expect in a high-end fifth wheel. Uh, LED lights don't use near the power and don't put out the heat. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the ceilings. There's a lot of things going on in the ceiling of the Montana. First of all, right back here is your ceiling fan. That does a great job of helping push air around. Has a nice aesthetic to it as well. As I mentioned, LED lights throughout. Also, uh, in the back of the crown molding, you have the LED accent lighting. You'll also see this one has the Whisper Quiet uh, AC. So it's 30 to 35% quieter when the AC is running, which is great when you're back here having conversation or watching TV. Let's so move up a little bit further. You see this... Uh, beautiful chandelier right here above the center island and then right there in the center is your max air fan that does a really good job of uh, you know getting any kind of smells or anything out of the coach creating a nice cross breeze the other cool thing is that is wired for a third ac so if you want three acs on this coach you can have it installed right there uh, take a look along the back you see the nice big tri-fold sofa plenty of room here very comfortable uh, you know to to uh, not only sit in but also to sleep in the trifold sofa being the preferable type of sleeper sofa you can see right here it actually uses the cushion of the couch itself as the bedding so that way you don't have a bar on your back or have an air mattress or anything that's going to deflate on you both sides you have an end table with an electrical outlet so if you need to plug anything in there whether it's a laptop or lap um, tablet you can do that right up top here again kind of same thing we had across the way good extra storage there Entertainment center right over here, nice big TV, sound bar underneath for great sound quality. You can see kind of the faux rock look that they put in here, it looks very, very nice, and of course doesn't have the weight of actual brick. LED fireplace right there, uh, I really like the, the fireplace, not only does it look great, but it also is an excellent space heater, so if you don't want to run your propane and you know it's not too terribly cold, you can just kick this guy on right here. It'll do a good job of taking the chill off in this back space. Right up top, one side you have a little bit of extra storage. The other side right here is your multimedia center. That is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop that in. Then our center island, big gorgeous center island right here, solid surface as you would expect. You have sink top covers on both bowls of the undermount double bowl sink. High rise pull out faucet there as well. 
Uh, you do have electrical outlets, so if you need to plug anything in, you can do that. Two full extension ball bearing drawers here in the island. Some storage here in the center. You'll also see this wall right here. That's actually for your sink top covers. So what you can do when you take them out, you slide them right in there. That way you have a place to store them. Additional storage off to the side. And then this one's really cool. This is where your trash can obviously is located. You have a pantry here. Again, something you need in a uh, high-end fifth wheel, especially if you plan on living in it or spending a lot of time in it. But big lit pantry right over there. Then moving over a little bit further here, you do have some additional prep space if you want to. But again, solid surface countertops. See the pop-up power tower right there. Uh, four full extension ball bearing drawers going all the way down. You can see how nice and big those are. Of course, you have your silverware uh, tray right there. You also have the upgraded cooktop and oven. You can see this. It looks a lot nicer. You have the grill on here. It's a little more flush than what a lot of them are. And then the oven underneath, not only is this big, but this is self-lighting, which is really cool. You know, that way, uh, gone are the days of kneeling down with your lighter, trying to get in there, afraid of burning your eyebrows off. That certainly makes it a heck of a lot easier. Right underneath the oven, nice big pull-out drawer here. And what you will see is the other half of your um, backup camera. Of course, one part is on the coach, but the part that goes in your truck is stored right down there. Convection oven up here. So this is your microwave and another oven all in one. Uh, I like convection ovens. They work really well. They cook fast. They're easy to clean. Over to the side, plenty of room here for your spices. And you have a nice wine rack up top. Even if you don't drink wine, it does make for a nice decorative piece. Samsung residential refrigerator. You can see we just got this in from the manufacturer, so it still has everything in here, but this has a ton of space. Uh, probably something like you would have at home. This unit does run off electric only, but it has a dedicated inverter, so that way everything stays cold while you're going down the road. Right over here, you see, I'll open this up for you, good storage space right up top there. Same thing going all the way down. Now, if you want washer dryer, this is where it would go. You'd remove these shelves and put it right in here. If you don't, however, you get another massive pantry. The cool thing about that too is there is an electrical outlet in there. So if you want to put like a toaster or something in there, you can do that. Uh, it just makes for a nice extra appliance holder. Right up top here, you see uh, kind of like a hutch space. Again, good storage. It's lit right up top. Uh, kind of a decorative backsplash right here, which is nice. There is an uh, outlet here too. So if you want to make this like a coffee bar or something, you can do that. A couple extra drawers right here. Storage there underneath as well. If you take a look at the half bath with a pivot door, right down here, you see your foot flush lever porcelain toilet. So it is nice and easy to clean. Over to the side, you have huge linen closet. You have four doors there, so it's nice and big. And then as we move over a little bit, you see the sink top and vanity, additional storage underneath. Again, solid surface countertops with molded in bowl. Right up top, nice big mirror. And along the very top, again, you have additional storage. You take a look at the bedroom with the 3921. You see a nice big king bed here. You have good storage underneath and it's extremely comfortable. This is the iRelax sleep system. It's a very comfortable memory foam. So you're not gonna have to go out and buy a new mattress. You'll see on both sides of the bed, you have a little nightstand there with electrical outlet and cubby holes going all the way down the side. Windows on both sides, both of those do open so you can get a cross breeze at night. Leather headboard and LED reading lights. You'll see over here to the side, you have a double mirrored wardrobe. This is just one wardrobe. There are a ton in the master bathroom we'll get to in just a moment. Take a look at the ceiling here. Again, you will see there's a quiet, cool AC. So that way at night, again, it's quieter so you don't hear that tornado above your head if you have to sleep with the AC on. Right over here is the TV. Electrical outlet there for anything else you need to plug in, any kind of auxiliary equipment. A couple big drawers underneath. And then over to this side here, you see you have three additional storage areas. The real jewel of the 3921 though is right here in the front master bath. Right as soon as you step in, you'll see you have a big wardrobe space. So you can see that double wardrobe, both the top and the bottom. You also have your toilet paper uh, holder hidden away right there. You'll see right up here a double vanity. That's right, double vanity. I love when they're able to do this. I have this at home, and I think it's really cool to have in an RV as well. That way if two people have to get ready at the same time, it is easy to do. 
double electrical outlet as well as dual uh, medicine cabinet there with mirrors there of course and then you have additional storage on both sides underneath if you take a look over to the other side right here is our toilet foot flush lever toilet there obviously plenty of leg room up in front shower right over here this is a one piece residential style shower, nice and big. You see you have plenty of shelves in there. You have the seat, the beautiful hand wand with the uh, bar so you can actually adjust the height which is nice and a big skylight up top too. Then right here you have a max air fan so you can quickly get the moisture out of the bathroom. Now of course the big thing you're wondering about is right up here and that is the front tub. This is something new that they've done on the front bathroom and I think it's great. You want to talk about a way to really kick back and relax. This is ultimate relaxation while camping, have a little glass of wine, read a book, whatever you want to do. Uh, now they have upgraded the water heater in here to be able to handle the demand of the tub. So don't worry about running out of hot water. This unit will provide it for you. Right over here you will see Again, more wardrobe space on both the top and the bottom, so just a ton of wardrobe space in this coach. Slow rise roller shades, again, windows on both sides, another window right up front, letting in a lot of natural light here. And this is a power shade, which is cool. So you don't have to worry about trying to reach over the tub to open and close it. Just touch a button and it will uh, raise and shut nice and easy. And again, you can see that beautiful front window right there. Uh, the controls right over here, I can show you. This is your max air fan right here is the control for the shade as I was mentioning and then all your light controls right underneath. But all right folks that pretty much wraps it up. Again this is a 2017 Keystone Montana 3921FB. This one is in the cafe interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability I recommend you give us a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.